It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. Ha, <laughs> yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? That is good. I, my protocols do not recognize sarcasm. to another episode of the Pokemon Scarlet Level Lock. My name is Ectric Amir here in episode 27, where in the last one we were able to defeat Nimona and complete the final path of legends, uh, where we will be now taking on Area Zero and finishing off the game. So if you are excited for this episode, consider liking and subscribing to the channel so that you can catch every one of these episodes, as well as all of the streams that we do on the channel, all of the fun shorts that we do on the channel, all of it. You can see all of it uh, as they come out, and uh, I will do my best to make it as entertaining as possible for all of you. But thank you so much for being here today. I hope you are having a wonderful, wonderful day, and we are going to go and take on Area Zero um, with our team that just was able to wipe Nimona with very little issue. So hopefully we are all set to take it on. Um, we've got a bunch of level 68s, a level 69, and a level 67. Um, nice. And we are gonna go and head over towards the entrance to Area Zero, the Zero Gate. So, hopefully you're excited for this. Um, I think that we might be able to end this series this episode. If not, then maybe next episode. I don't know for sure how long it's going to take. Why were you on the rock? You're not even a goat, you're a deer. Whatever. Um, also, we've never seen a shiny in this game. We never saw one. Granted, we still can go through Area Zero and maybe see one, but the chances of us finding one at this point are basically zero. Which is disappointing. I really wanted a shiny. I got a shiny and emerald when I did a level level lock, and I didn't get one in this game? That's nuts. Either that or I got one and I just didn't see it or notice it, so there's also that. But, you know, these things happen would have been really funny if there was one right there, and I just missed it completely. Okay. So. I don't need you. I don't need you. Alright, so, I think we stick with this move set. Or with this this team set. I think Sensei's Field has another Shookaberry, in case uh, there's a ground-type first Pokemon, or ground-move first Pokemon. Uh, and then we can uh, nuzzle p Toxic Spikes, and the rest of them can uh, switch in as necessary. Let's go do this. Hey! Over here! What's up, Arvin? What do you want? <laughs> you gonna bow wow for me as well? This is Air Zero Gate. It was made so researchers could try to observe the inside of the great crater of Paldea. What folks call Area Zero. It's our ticket down into the crater. Oh, and speaking of the crater, you know that Pokemon of yours, the one I gave you? Area Zero is apparently where Coridon was born, or something like that. Maybe it'll be happy that it can finally come back home? Not that I really care or anything. I mean, it's, it's, I, I think it's annoying, so I don't want to deal with that, but maybe you care or something like that. I don't know. Just bring it up. Sh shut up. Shut up. <laughs> anyway, our two new teammates should be waiting for us inside the Zero Gate. Guess we should head in. Alright. I wonder who we could be. The way home. Let's go. Our last path. Oh, this should be fun. I'm excited. It'll definitely be interesting to try and, uh, beat the game this episode. Hopefully my team can handle it. It's gonna be rough, I think. Sada's team is no no joke. Whoa, kind of dark in here. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Hey. Hola, Actric. Arvin said there'd be tons of strong Pokemon, so here I am. Yeah, that sounds about right. When she heard she'd get to battle awesome Pokemon, she was here in a second. 
You are an annoying little pest at the academy, but I guess you could come in handy for this. Spoken like a guy who wants to get beaten in a battle. <laughs> I, I don't think that's true, but okay. But more importantly, why is it so dark? And where are the awesome Pokemon? God, she's literally Goku. Yeah, it is weird that the lights are off. Last time I was here, the electricity was up and running, but now... Oh, there we go. Thanks, Penny. Well, now the lights are on. But why? I... I turned them on. Thanks, Penny. Seems like they were on power saving mode. Cool. It's, it's the crew. We've got our, our heist crew going. I hacked into the system controls and overrode the settings. Neat. Oh, it's you, the kid with the fluffy Eevee bag! Penny. Um, I guess? My name's Penny. <laughs> Namona's so funny. Well, hey! We never got to actually talk! I'm Namona! I'm in Class 1A! You must be some kind of tech whiz! Do you like Pokemon battling, too? <laughs> Penny's like, oh god, no! Er, you talk, like, way too much. <laughs> I love their interactions. The director introduced us. When you need someone good with tech, she's a no-brainer. Anyway, Penny's here also agreed in a second when she heard it was up to it was to help Bectric. Yep, I kind of saved her from getting expelled and all that. I'm not really the adventuring type, but I owe you, Bectric, and I pay my debts. She's surprisingly old-fashioned like that. And of course, everyone knows me, Arvin. My love includes... Loves include my Mabastiff and cooking, and uh, that's about it. Biometric identification in progress. Hello, Ectric. I've been expecting you. Oh, hey, Sada. And it seems you have gathered a group of formidable allies as well. Um, sorry, who are you? Ah, uh, that's my mom. Probably. <laughs> what? That's Professor Sada? Nimona, student ID number 805C001. And Penny, student ID number 803B121. I thank you for coming. Of course, Professor. Oh my gosh, it's such an honor to meet you in person. I mean, maybe not in person exactly. Yeah, it's, it's more like in robot. <laughs> God, that was awful. <laughs> Arvin, did you uh, tell your mom about us? When would I have done that? To begin with, I'd like to ask all of you to make your way down into the great crater of Paldea. You can reach the lower chamber using the elevator you can see to your right. Okay. Let's do it. Um, Mom? Please proceed below. Uh, poor guy. Are they not on good terms? M must not be. No, they're not. Yeah, sorry. Arvin's kind of got a got a an inferiority complex because his mom was never there for him. Oh, sorry. Am I saying this way too loud so that uh, Arvin can obviously hear it, as opposed to just hear it, even though we're whispering? My bad. <laughs> All right, let's go into the elevator. It's time to meet your not mom, Arvin. Okie dokie. Biometric identification in progress. Identities confirmed. Access granted to the lower level. Ooh, it opened for us automatically! Not quite. Looks to me like someone's controlling this thing remotely. Once you step through, you will all be above area zero. Ectric, have you brought Coridon with you? Yes. Let's do it. I thank you for bringing it with you on your many adventures. If you utilize Coridon's gliding ability, you should be able to descend into the depths to reach Area Zero. Alright, cool. What? Isn't there, like, an elevator or something? And... Wait, did you say Coridon can fly? Oh yeah, it can glide. Not really fly, it kind of sucks. Because after, uh, after like, 13, 13 seconds, not even, it just, like, all of a sudden just, like, drop dive bombs to the ground. You don't ever get hurt, but, like, still, it's kind of annoying. Railroading people into stuff, just like always. 
I can't wait to see what Pokemon live down in Area Zero. Let's go! <laughs> that girl. Is she, like, incapable of fear or what? She's just nuts. Don't mind her. I guess we'd better go, too. Yep. Let's go. We're off to see the wizard. What do you mean I can't ride Karide on here? How about now? No? Fine, I'll walk up. Ectric, ready for the worst? Yes. Good, that's all we needed to hear. Get out that Pokemon of yours and we'll be off. Let's go. Let's go. Love to see it. Agia. What is this? Oh god, I'm afraid of heights. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh. What's the matter with it? Hmm. Scared of heights. That's what I'd say. Uh, <laughs> not not me. I'm I'm in, I am I am Karidon. No need to be scared if we go together. How does that logic work? Oh god, I don't like this. Get on! Oh, I'm gonna faint and fall over! <laughs> oh god, no! Alright, we're going. I'm gliding. Jeez, we almost fell. That's bad. <laughs> Thanks, Arvin. Pork ride on. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick. I hate this. Why did they give me the ability to glide when I'm afraid of heights? <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, look at the rainbow. <sighs> cool. Alrighty. Time to get through Area Zero. And now I'm back here again. <laughs> I think I might have died once or twice there. Uh, I don't like it here. It's okay, bud. You're right. You're right, it's okay. I'm going back to my Pokeball. Bye. <laughs> you're right, it is okay. Because you're going to do this and I'm not going to. It chose to go back into its ball? It's probably just hungry or something. I don't know. It's always eating my sandwiches. Probably hungry. Wait a second. Where'd the student counselor girl go? Yeah, where is Nimona? Probably ran off to find a Pokemon. What? She's gone. You don't think she... Everyone, you have to see this. Area Zero is amazing. <laughs> and she already went off. Oh yeah, by the way, the defeat of the whole thing. Come on already. I guess your ability would be own tempo, huh? <laughs> Biometric identification in progress. Four humans identified. Condition satisfactory. Vital signs all within normal range. It appears you were able to make the descent without being harmed. <laughs> yeah, sure. Smooth sailing. Who could possibly complain about a landing like that? That is good. I, my protocols do not recognize sarcasm. <laughs> <sighs> I hate her so much. I had concerns you might fail, given the crudeness of the only available access method. Hmm? So you didn't even believe in Karidon? What is this nonsense? Think your mom's sarcasm detector needs fixing. Aw, you were worried about us? That's so sweet! Wow. Speaking of sarcasm detector. You should know. Now make your way to me at the Zero Lab, in the deepest part of Area Zero. However... The entrance to the lab is barred by four locks installed on the exterior, which I cannot unlock. Oh, well, that's why you're dragging us down here, huh? Four locks? On your way to me, you must visit each of the four research stations that were constructed inside the crater. Okay. At each station, you will be able to disable one of the locks. Do so as you make your way down. I hope you succeed. All right, let's do it. Yes, let's disable the four locks and get into that lab. Sounds kind of video gamey when you say it out loud, huh? <laughs> yeah. Weird. <laughs> Come on! Time to find our way to the deepest part of Area Zero. All right, let's go. I think this time I'm going to actually try and read the dialogue that they say while you're walking. Because it's fun. Oh, it's a ferrigraph.
Hmm. No dialogue yet, though. Trap rig. Oh, the music. Yeah. So this is the inside of the Great Crater of Paldea, Era Zero. Feels different from seeing it in the textbooks. It's so intense. Normally, we'd never be able to get in here to see it for ourselves. Huh? Wait, where'd Coridon go? Seems like it got spooked by something. It's hiding in its ball. And Serio? That's not good. Can we even get back up to the surface without it? Ah, should be alright. Last time I was here, caught a flying taxi out of the crater. They always come through. If you're a real sob story. Why didn't you just call the professor if she's down here? Don't get along or something? <laughs> None of your business, big squeak. Jeez, no need to bite my head off. What are you getting all huffy about? Oh, come on, you two. This is an adventure. Let's have a good time. Why is the dialogue so fat? Is it because I'm running? Are they, like, distance triggered? Must be it. I'm, like, speed running speaking. Let's see. I would love to see a shiny in here. So, Penny, how'd you wind up friends with Ectric anyway? Huh? Well, I guess uh, she really came through. Everything was going off the rails. School was a mess. Ectric was a big help getting all that sorted out. Qua! So she helped you too while she was tackling all the gems? That's awesome. What about you then, Nimona? Ectric and I are classmates. Neighbors from back home, too. Plus, I said she should be a champion, and she did it. Wait, what? That's wild. I know, I'm amazing. Hold it right there, you two. You think you've got cool friendship origin stories with Ectric? They're nothing compared to what me and her went through. Our friendship's on another level! Um, nobody asked you. Stop trying to flex on us. Haha, <laughs> guess we're all buds of Ectric Club. Nice. Right, grab that. A dusk stone. Um, I want to grab some of these items. But I'd rather not run into these mods. Um, I guess we go down here. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. Oh, I bet that's what we're looking for. It is. It's number one. It's must be one of the buildings for the professor was talking about. Seemingly so. Oh yeah. What were they called? Radish rations? <laughs> Research station. <laughs> Radish rations. He thinks nothing but food. Uh hmm. Well, I was close. <laughs> it's so funny. Wow, you have such a great memory, Penny. It's not that hard to remember. They're research stations. What are you guys doing? Eh, I guess she's the only one that's, like, pretty actually studious. What's great is my common sense compared to you a lot, apparently. <laughs> I'm sorry, Penny. Shreen. Oh, it's a Glamora. Yeah, what the heck is that? That's a Pokemon per my Leper Mary uses. I didn't know that species could be found in the Great Crater. Come on, Ectric. Let's take it on together. All right, fine. Klima! Oh, I should probably uh, put someone else up front. Eh, it doesn't matter. I can just go with, um... Which one we'll call it. It's a rock type, so I could just go switch into Alejandro real quick. Whoops. Um... Yeah, I don't have anything super effective on this thing. So we'll go Alejandro. Oh, is it? It's Poison Rock, isn't it? That's why Grass is only effective. Ah, we'll use a Ground-type move. Oh, does it have Sturdy? Toxic Debris. No, it has Toxic Debris. Just managed to randomly get not get hit. You jerk. What a jerk. Alright, well, Drill Run should kill it this turn. Uh, I'm just going to heal up my mana. <laughs> you got this, Mona. You can handle it. Good stuff. Perfect. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, more toxic debris. Doesn't matter. Battle's over. Perfect. Way to go, Alejandro. Doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> there could be a lot more of these rare Pokemon down here, you think? Yeah, probably. You think it was something? Please. You've got no idea how terrifying Area Zero really is. Wow, patronizing much? 
love how much they hate Arvin. <laughs> Easy, you two. Let's just head inside the research station. Let's all head inside the the ration, uh, the radish ration. Let's go. Whew. Is that an item that I should be picking up right now? Is that just a trigger? Is there a Pokeball just sitting in the ground randomly? No. Wow, are these ancient ruins? They look far too recent for that. It appears you have reached your first research station without incident. This facility was constructed 87 years ago as a way station for those surveying Area Zero. Man, their tech was much better 87 years ago than ours is. So that's why there's a bed. Yeah, sure. Looks like we can use this place to rest up if we need to. Actric, if you would be so kind as to disable the first lock on the lab using that central panel. Sure. I like how much they build up the fact that you're, like, unlocking this door as if, like, it's it might be a bad, bad idea. And then you just, like... Eventually, you just find out it, it's not a bad idea at all. You have to do it. But it's like, they're like, are you sure you want to unlock this door? Or do you want to do something else? And it's just like, yeah, that's that's why I'm here. Why wouldn't I want to unlock this door? Why, what do I, else what am I going to do? I almost never saw my mom in my whole life. Oh, is it time for the backstory? <laughs> Penny, shh! <laughs> she was always busy with work. Hardly ever came home. Cook for myself, clean for myself. Mavisef was the only one I had to talk to. So yeah, I don't really know her at all, even if she is my mom. Tried not to think too much about it. Tried something. But the truth is, I would rather have just had a mom who was there. I haven't seen her for ages now, unless you count seeing her in the news. I used to at least get emails sometimes, but even those stopped a while ago. And then the, she, here she is with players out of the blue. Some family, right? Oh, uh, but we're not here to judge or anything. And I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have snapped at you like that. Nah, I was giving you a hard time. Sorry. Uh, Penny. My name's Penny. You know, you're actually pretty nice for a pipsqueak. <laughs> Don't call me pipsqueak, you big lunk. That's the spirit, you two. Grab those items. I have not been paying attention if there's been any shiny, so I really hope I didn't miss any. Chances are I didn't, but, you know. That looked shiny for a second. I got excited. Okay. Carbos? Well, that's kind of useful. I thought that was an item. Sparkles always confuse me in this area. Last time I came to the Great Crater, I was trying to go see my mom. Got about this far and then got attacked by some creature I'd never seen before. Really? What kind of Pokemon was it? It wasn't even like a Pokemon. More like this crazy, violent, rampaging sort of thing. Sure it wasn't just a Pokemon that's a little more, I don't know, rampagey than average? Yeah, I'm sure. It was like a completely different creature altogether. And it hurt Rabistiff real bad, so it's not like I'd just forget. I don't ever want to run into that awful thing again. It was that strong, huh? Then I really hope I get to see it! That's what I figured you'd say. <laughs> You're real tactless sometimes, no money. You know that? I love how we're building our rapport while we run along. And it just hit, like, we're building our rapport so fast. It's literally, like, this is, like, such a, a, you know, what's the word? This is so reminiscent. No, reminiscent's not the right word. Um, this is so, like, such a good example of how this game is in general. It's just, like, we're going to rush through everything. Oh, shoot. I went the wrong way. Um, we're just going to run rush through everything. Um... And we're gonna make you. Uh, we're gonna go. It's gonna be awesome, but we're gonna. We're gonna. It, we're not gonna give enough time to like. Co to com to put the final polish on it. It's just like, they literally like are rushing to get get the dialogue out while we run. Like I can't read that fast, man. What is we doing? No, go away. Ride you. I'm not gonna write you a love song. Hmm. 
Is this not where we're supposed to go? We just went to this one, right? Or is this the next one? This has got to be the next one, right? Ooh, an espion. And a flay baby. The second research station. About time, too. Good stuff. Sorry about that. I led you astray a little bit. Whew. Let's, let's head in and uh, take a breather. I thought you'd have a bit more stamina, student council girl. <laughs> I'm just full of surprises. That wasn't a compliment, you know. I don't care. Too tired. Don't care. Oh, look. Hey, look, it's a Jigglypuff. It's good to see some nice familiar Pokemon down here, too. It's not a Jigglypuff. Poo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, so cute! It said poo! Poo. <laughs> poo. <laughs> He's got fangs. Pura! Oh! What the? Whoa! I got you. Hectric, it's battle time! Help! Alright, fine. I guess I'll fight him. Fight it for you. What type is this? Is it fairy? I think it's fairy. Oh, cool. Screamtail. I'm going sludge bomb. Baby doll eyes, that's fine. Oh, that's actually helpful. Alright, fine, put yourself to sleep. Good, it is fairy type. Oh, we got a poison too. Although it's probably gonna rest now. Alright, can you uh, attack Penny, please? So we can just finish this off without it. Oh, okay, that works too. Speed tie, didn't use rest. Goodbye. Doink. Good riddance. Oh wait, baby doll eyes is a uh, is priority move. Never mind. That's why we didn't outspeed this time. There you go. Seriously, what was that? Darn thing scared me half to death. It was a poo. <laughs> it was definitely kind of ferocious for a Jigglypuff, wasn't it? No kidding. Come on, let's get inside already. One more jump scare like that and I'm done for. <laughs> That's funny. Sorry, Penny. Didn't mean to startle you. Alrighty. Let's go. Well, this looks pretty much the same as the first research station. Boring. Seems like wild Pokemon don't come in here. We should be safe to catch our breath. Sounds about right. Hey, seriously, what is this place? That Pokemon? I don't know. I've been wondering that about myself. I think maybe the Pokemon was one of these. Huh? What's that book? And how do I tap the screen of it? Monsters of Area Zero. Member of the survey team captured this photograph by chance. I noticed a passing resemblance to the Pokemon known as Donphan, yet the differences such as its sheer size and the shape of its back set it apart, as do its great tusks. Because <laughs> great tusks. Monsters of Area Zero? So they they aren't actually Pokemon? I don't really know. What do you think, Hectric? I think they really are just Pokemon. Yeah, same. I mean, they look different, sure, but they use moves in battle just like Pokemon we know. I suppose the time has come for an explanation. Yep, sounds about right. Professor! Some of the life forms that you see residing now within Area Zero are ancient Pokemon that lived in a distant past long lost to us. Ancient Pokemon? What? That's awesome! Oh, come on. There's no way that's possible. The Zero Lab, where I am located, contains a time machine. Oh, so they do just use the same same exact plot device. That's a little disappointing. Oh, well. It summons the ancient Pokemon to this place. So the thing my mom spent forever researching down here, she actually got it working? 
So you knew that the a time machine was possible, and that wasn't your first guess. Your first guess was not, it's my mom did something and it actually worked, because she's, you know, a brilliant scientist. It was, must be monsters. <laughs> Indeed. Though the cost was catastrophic. The cost? Uh-oh. But a time machine? You mean you can actually travel to and from the past? It is theoretically t possible to travel to the past. However, for a being such as a human, it would not be possible to return to the present. Well, that's horrifying. Mom, you... Yeah. Why did you call us here to Area Zero? Arvin, I... If possible, I would like us to speak when we can meet face to face. It will be easier for you to understand once you can see the situation for yourself. Mm -hmm. Now then, Ectric, please use the central panel here and disable another lock on my lab. Alright, lock number two. Let's see what's behind lock number two. Let's go. Low pressing buttons. Well done. Please continue your efforts at the remaining research stations. Ectric. What? You know that book that she told me to bring? I think it's got something to do with this place. Or more like everything to do with this place. But I'm not the one she expects to fix whatever all this is. You are. I think you should be the one to carry it. Oh, thanks. Cool. Take care of it for me. Okay, Ectric? Sure. I got you. I got you, bud. Uh, I'm gonna heal at the fourth station, I think. Just so that we're all set. And then we can take on Sada. Let's go. Whoops, I can't ride for Grad, I forgot. What are your parents like, Nimona? My parents? Normal, I guess. Are you serious? Even I know about your dad. He's on the board of the Rotom Phone Company. Wait, how do you know that? Everyone knows that. He's famous. And I guess I looked into him for my own reasons, too. So Nimona's actually some pampered little princess from a rich family? Ugh, oh, no, no way. That's so not my thing. Though, yeah. I guess you could say my mother and father were, like, hands off, but in a good way. My big sister will probably take over the business, so they pretty much let me do what I wanted. Wait, you call them mother and father? That's some pam pampered little princess stuff right there. Gah, Kayate, Penny. What's your family like, super something? My family is unbelievably annoying. <laughs> like, super overprotective, you mean? It's just my dad. He's loud and clingy and makes up weird nicknames for me, like Pen Pen. He's the most annoying guy in the world, period. He's the worst. Man, that's a real downer for your dad. Having his own daughter. Uh... I hate him like that. Don't take his side. Ah, oh, that trick. What, something? You met her? I missed the text. Dang it. I missed it. This text is so difficult to read. Oh my god. So frustrating. Am I going the right way? I think I am. I wonder if there's a faster way to go through this. I wonder how speedrunners do it, or if they just run down like we did, we are doing right now. I'd love to see a speedrun of this game, too. That'd be awesome. I wonder what it looks like. I wonder how many, like, game-breaking glitches they have. Well, <laughs> how many game-breaking glitches they have that actually help you beat the game quicker. Because, <laughs> you know, in terms of just plain game-breaking glitches, I've seen a few of them myself. Well... Alright, another research station. Yes, let's go. Alright, Arvin. Your turn. Nice, we get to chill for a minute. Something's gonna jump out of this again. 100% guaranteed. <laughs> oh, Petty, such a worry wart. Huh? Yep, there it is. <laughs> Da dawn <laughs> See? See? I told you! Wait a sec. This is just like that Titan Pokemon we saw. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So it was an ancient Pokemon all along? Seemingly so. Whoa, you've battled one of these before, Arvin? It looks seriously strong. Yeah, well, Electric and I are the old pros when it comes to Titans. Leave this to us. Works for me. <laughs> 
All right, um, so this is Fighting Ground. So Sensei's Feel is definitely a bad option for this. It's going to use a Ground-type move. Ooh, lower the attack. Lovely, Mamastef. Good call. Um, does it use a Fighting-type move, actually? It's probably going to attack me first, so we'll go... Swap into Alejandro. Yeah. Sorry, I got confused why Grass was super effective for a split second. Alright, Alejandro should be able to eat this head. Rapid spin. Oh, that's fine. Do nothing. Except raise its speed, apparently. Play rough. Good stuff. And energy ball. Brick break. Oof. All right, and great uh, energy ball should be able to finish this thing off. Goodbye. Doink. GG. Perfect. All right, that worked well. See that? Victory's ours. <laughs> Maybe the one we saw when we were searching out the Herba Mystica came from down here. Probably. You two got to meet one of these Pokemon before our crater get-together? Jealous. Well, maybe you should have gone on to the Titan search with us. Uh, if we've got things from little ancient times roaming around Paldea, that's a major problem. Isn't Professor Sada doing anything to keep them under control? How could you let this happen? Yeah, right. Because it's not like, oh, so brilliant Professor Sada ever messes up. <laughs> Come on, Extra. Let's get into that research station. All right. Let's do it. Yo! This music reminds me of um, the, mo the the movie Avatar. It sounds a lot like um, the music they play like when they're exploring Pandora. It's got that whole, you know, like, Bulgarian choir sort of sound to it. Um, it's really, I really love this type of music. It's a really cool, like, ethereal type of sound. The Pokemon here in Area Zero came into our time from the past, right? So what about Crydon? Isn't it probably pretty likely that it's also one of these ancient Pokemon? You're right. Yeah, probably. Huh. I think you're onto something. It's kind of giving off ancient vibes. Even its name sounds pasty. <laughs> it sounds pasty. Wait a sec. I totally forgot. Hey, Arvin. You had Crydon's ball, and you told us about its forms in the first place. You must know something about it, right? Ugh. Still remember that from way back? No wonder you're everybody's little star pupil. Guess I've got no choice but then but tell you what I know. That Pokemon, Crydon, that is, it was found by my mom when she was working on her time machine. I believe it would be best for me to take over the explanations at this point. Professor! Crydon, which I entrusted to Ectric, was the first Pokemon that was successfully retrieved from the past by the time machine. Seriously? Through the analysis of its genetic makeup as well as its behavioral patterns, I came to realize that what I had discovered was, in fact, an ancient form of Cyclozar, the Pokémon still commonly ridden in this region. Well, that makes sense, I guess. They do look alike. Many other Pokémon also came to this place from across the boundaries of time, but I was never able to bring over more than two specimens of Coridon. Huh? You mean there, there's another one around here somewhere? Yep. What if they're family? The other one could still be somewhere in Area Zero, waiting to finally be reunited with our Coridon. A heartwarming family reunion? Exactly! Imagine how thrilled they'll be if we can get the family back together after all this time. Probably not. Family, huh? Yeah. That sounds nice. <laughs> if we could proceed, Ectric, please disable the next lock. Sure. Let's do it. Love the exposition in this game. This, this is actually a really fun story. I like it a lot. Well done. Only one remains now. Please continue on to the final research station. Sure, why not? Let's go. Alrighty, into the cave we go. So Coridon's an ancient Pokemon. No wonder no one's seen it before. Hectric, you gotta let me battle Coridon right now! Um, it still won't come out of it as Pokeball. Oh, right. <laughs> that was the first I heard of it coming out of the past myself. It's just some weird Pokemon my mom brought home all of a sudden one day. We all lived together at the lighthouse lab for a little while. 
Mom made me promise to keep it a secret, and I'd take care of it for her, too. So that's why you knew so much about it. Yeah, but well, then one day cried and just went nuts some... Against one oh, come on. A few of the folks living nearby ended up seeing it, so the secret's out. Once that happened, my mom took it away and went back to Area Zero. I guess that makes sense. It's a Pokemon from the different age. Yeah, if people found out, I'd be all over the news. Didn't see my mom work riding after that for ages. Looking back now, it seems obvious. I felt like I'd lost mom because of Gridon. I mean, kinda. Let's go. This is such a cool area. I love it. Hey, look at that! Oh my gosh, look at all these huge, gorgeous crystals! They go all the way to the bottom! Yep. Terra crystals. Go! <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna beat the game! Once something we can kiss our short lives goodbye, now we have phones to catch us. We're fine. Oh, good call! Watch your step! So the professor's down there somewhere, waiting for us. Pretty much. And that's fine. Totally fine. All right, team. Watch yourselves and let's get to the bottom of this thing. Sure thing. This place looks unreal. Maybe there really is treasure down here like the stories say. Maybe. Yeah. This place like something from a whole other world. Makes you feel like maybe you already died and went somewhere. Is it just me or do the crystals give, here give off the same glow as when Pokemon Terrasalize? it has gotta be some sort of connection. Yeah, probably. Only one way to find out. Come on, everybody, let's keep moving. We gotta go all the way down. Sure thing. Alrighty. I think what we'll do is we'll get to the last research station, and then we will do the rest of this in the next episode, because we've already been going for, like, 40 minutes. Um, and, you know, as much as exposition is fun... Um, I don't want to cut it all out just so that we can uh, get to the fun stuff. I want to, I want to be able to enjoy it with you. So we will go and uh, finish it off next one. So cried on something, something. Then it lived a while with the professor, along with another one of its kind. Seems to be the story. So we brought it back home, kind of, or to second home at least. Pretty much. Is this shiny? No, it's not. I got excited for a second. I thought it was shiny. I thought they originally were blue. I actually thought it was shiny this time. I, I was... It doesn't seem to come out of its ball. Really? I thought it just scared because we were so high up. Huh? Who said it was scared of heights? You did, you moron. <laughs> Given how Grindon was acting earlier, I think something bad happened to it here. Sometimes you get all shaky just seeing the place you've got mad, bad memories of. Seeing so. It's the same for me. Just think about school maybe want to hide away somewhere so that know how it feels. Aw, Penny. So maybe got hurt down here in Area Zero, just like Mabastiff? Probably. Well, can't we can't know for sure, but it doesn't change to his battle form anymore, right? So I think it's possible. But that's so sad, we gotta do something to make it feel better. And no, I'm not just saying cause that because I super badly want to battle Karidon. Seriously? Well, at least something. Mona, you're kind of unbelievable. go so fast with this dialogue. I'm just gonna keep complaining about it. Alrighty. Let's go. Final battle of the episode. Alright. Let's go. Finish this off. Oh, this one got beat up. Whoa, what happened? This place is a mess. It looks like something went berserk in here. Yeah, but what? Hello, children. <laughs> Hi. God, Professor, you, you scared us. I'm sorry. Why is everything in here all busted up? I'm sorry. Hello, children. Come again? I'm... I'm... S-s-s-sorry. Sorry. S-s-s-sorry. I'm... s s I'm sorry. Hello, children. Hello. Hello. What the heck? That's not good. Stop that! You're creeping us out! 
Hello, children, children, and children, and children, children, children. Initiating restart. Professor must be having some, some weird connection problems or something, huh? Yeah, connection problems. Well, it was definitely weird, at least. Almost like, I don't know. She meant it as a joke. It wasn't funny. I still got goosebumps and all. Hmm. Do it. All locks disabled. Ah, ah, ah. Hello. Can you hear me now? Please, forgive my previous transmission. There seems to be some signal interference. That's not what that was. <laughs> what do you mean, Arvin? The locks have all been disabled at last. Please make your way down to the Zero Lab which lies at the very bottom of Area Zero. All right, we will do that in the next episode. So in the next episode, we are going to be ending off this game, hopefully, if we unless we lose. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed today's episode, a little bit more of an exposition, story-driven one, uh, which has been a while since we've done that. We, we've been pretty balls-to-the-wall, you know, foot to, pedal to the metal type of uh, just constantly doing a check mark. So I um, hope you're excited for uh, the final episode and... I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider liking and subscribing so you can catch every single one of these episodes as they come out. But regardless, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until the next one, I will see you. Bye.